you please tell us your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is Marvin Soto, and I'm from Los Angeles, California, born and raised there, and currently living within Tri-Cities, Washington State. And can you begin to share with us your testimony and what God has done in your life? And can you just start by telling us how was your life before you came to Christ? How was your life before you gave your life to Jesus Christ? All right, my life before I gave my life to Jesus Christ, I just want to state that I had a nine-year addiction with marijuana because I had chronic pain within my knees. And, you know, smoking marijuana, you know, it'll make my pain go away. But, you know, it'll come back once my high will go away. And not just that, but I had a, my family bond within my brother and my mother. It wasn't really established. It was broken. There was no love. There was no connection there. And not just that, but financially as well, you know, we weren't that great. You know, we were based off living check to checks or things were going that great. And can you share with us, how did you come to our church and what was your first experience? Um, first off, I got invited to a three-day event at the track here in Pasco to come and witness Wiseman the Harry. And, you know, me seeing that I had chronic pain, I got told that that man was capable of healing people through Jesus Christ and being a strong believer. And, you know, I thank each and one of you for inviting me there. And when I went up and got to see that man and I seen him heal people that had the same pain that I did, I seen um, people within wheelchairs being able to rise, people with evil spirits be delivered. Um, that's when I came to my senses and um, told myself, you know, there's a God out there. And if people out there had the same pain that I can, you know, then I don't need no medication. I don't need no marijuana to think that I'm healed. You know, I must see God. And... One day I decided, you know, like, I decided to come to a Wednesday service, and it was during a prayer line. And once again, I got to witness people with pain or people with family members with pain or with evil spirits within them be delivered. And on that day, I just told myself, you know what, it's about time I give my life to God, and I asked the, the king of healers to heal me. And so that Wednesday, um, did you give your life to God? Um, it wasn't that Wednesday, it was Easter of this year, actually, that just passed by. I decided to give my life to him, and I made a strong prayer to him, being the father of all nations and healer of healer. Um, I asked him, and I made a promise to him. I was like, God, if you heal me, I want to devote my life to you. I want my prayer to grow stronger, and I want to be one of your apostles. And, you know, it didn't happen one day to another, but I can say throughout time I got to witness that I was capable of squatting, I was capable of running with no pain in my knees. And, you know, I was grateful because of that. And thank you, God, by the way. And, and not just that, but many of my friends or relatives know that me and my family, even though we're family, we didn't get along as well. Me and my brother couldn't communicate or my mother. And through time, I started witnessing that me and my brother had started growing a connection. We actually had a few laughs, able to go out, you know, get along and with, well with my mother. I was capable of coming home with a smile, you know, not just going straight to my room. And not just that, but, you know, I got blessed as well for a job opportunity, which I want to thank Samuel for allowing me to get that job opportunity. And thank you, God, for hearing out my prayer. And I can tell you that my life has changed for the good. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together. So after you gave your life to Jesus, so you were healed before you gave your life to Jesus Christ. And after you gave your life to Jesus Christ, you saw a lot of changes in your family, in your finances, in your health. Is that right? That is correct. And so what would you, um, what are your goals now as a believer? We know you got baptized this Wednesday. Congratulations. So guys, let's put our hands together for him. Congratulations. So what are your goals now as a believer? Uh, my goal as a believer is... First off, to increase my knowledge within the Bible and the Word of God, um, attend home group more and be mentored more so the knowledge of the Word of the Bible can increase more within me. So those that were once lost like I was, I can go ahead and help them and help them reach salvation as well through the Word of Jesus Christ. And I want to be able to rise to be a leader as well and have my own home group. So those relatives and those friends that are, weren't capable of making it to church or you know, don't have that strong will to come, they can see where I came from, then knowing where I came from, and then they can be touched by my testimony, and then through, hopefully through the time, you know, I'm going to keep praying that they come and deliver their life to Christ. And before I let you go, I have one last question. What would your advice be to people maybe that are out there that have a sickness um, or that have not been coming to church? What would your advice be to them? Um, my advice be, you know, if you're taking medications for any type of pain that you're having or, you know, 
as well if you're with marijuana and you think that's going to heal you, but your pain keeps coming back, it's not really healing you because it's coming back. Just let me ask you, you know, if you seek God, he will answer your prayers. Don't be the one that just prays and prays but doesn't seek him because there's no need of your prayers being answered. And like I said, you know, seek him. He will answer you. Knock and great opportunities be opened through God. And I just want to say God bless each and one of you. And thank you, Hungry Generation, for opening your arms to me. And, you know, at first I was a little shy at coming, but each and one of you were grateful. And I thank you for accepting me for who I was and delivering me and helping me see God. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, guys. Let's put our hands together for him and for Jesus Christ of what God has done in his life.